How far will teen girls go for approval from their peers? What values are we as parents teaching our daughters? Those are some of the questions posed in my crime thriller, Easy Innocence. Hi, I'm Libby Hellman, an award-winning, best-selling author in Chicago. I have 13 novels out, and today I want to talk to you about one of them that I think would make a fabulous feature film. It stars Georgia Davis, who used to be a cop, but is now a PI, a newly minted PI. Easy Innocence is her first case. It's a story that reminds us that though we may live in the affluent bucolic suburbs, we are not immune from evil. This is a dark, gritty crime thriller. The tone is similar to some of the great Scandinavian crime thrillers, like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and The Killing. Easy Innocence reveals itself in layers, beginning with a high school hazing incident, which actually did happen 13 years ago, about half a mile from my house. Chicago suburb are investigating a case of high school hazing that sent five teenage girls to the hospital and was caught on videotape. The incident occurred Sunday after a football game among female students. The video shows girls being kicked, beaten, and covered with excrement by other girls while several boys cheer them on. No one was killed, but I kept wondering what would happen if someone was. Who would have done it? Why? Let's find out. A mentally ill young man who likes to roam the forest preserve ostensibly murders Sarah Long, a pretty high school junior. Because one certainly can't have an unsolved murder on the North Shore of Chicago, the case flies through the courts faster than a speeding bullet. Georgia is in her early 30s and is recovering from a love affair gone bad. She's a loner. She has baggage she doesn't trust easily, but she does want to make her mark as a PI. So when the young man's sister calls her and claims he did not murder Sarah, she takes the case. Bit by bit, Georgia uncovers a suburban prostitution ring, but one with a twist. These girls aren't hooking because they need drugs, they're runaways, or they're rebelling against authority. They need money to buy the gadgets, designer clothes, and other toys that will get them accepted into the in crowd. This short clip, taken from the audio version, gives you an idea of their attitude. She got out of bed and picked up the coach bag lying nearby. She remembered when she bought the bag, how she'd handed over the $300 bills with a blasé expression, trying not to show how proud she was to have that kind of cash. How the sales clerk at Old Orchard Mall squinted, trying to hide her envy. Yes, it was worth it. Georgia eventually discovers that the killer is the father of the girl who's running the prostitution ring from her Glencoe home. But the reason for Sarah's murder has nothing to do with prostitution. Sarah, whom the father has hooked up with several times, overheard a cell conversation in which he admits to felonies when trying to secure prime commercial property for his client. Georgia confronts the lawyer at his house and shoots him. Besides Georgia, there are about five other significant characters in the story, both teens and adults. Easy Innocence works beautifully as a feature film, but it could also work as a 10 or 12 episode long form TV drama. And the best part is there are three other novels in the series that could be adapted. Thank you for this opportunity. I hope you're as excited as I am about the possibilities for Georgia. I'll leave you now with a few review blurbs from the book.